Hey guys, this is Bolo and today in this tutorial, I will show how we can create this kind of scenes in Blender using rigid body physics and self fracture add-on that comes with Blender itself easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 3.6.5, nice. So first of all, let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's import our model here. You can use any kind of model, but make sure mesh is proper. So here I will be using this Blender kit, which is free to download in order to get models. So let me search as statue. So here I will be using this model. Simply click on that image and it will be loaded here. We got the model, select the model, increase the scaling. Make sure to apply the scale transform. So select the model, come to this object, apply, apply scale. Now let's look the mesh. So select this wireframe mode and here you can see the mesh is proper. So this is important as we are using self fracture add on in order to get the pieces correctly. We need to have this mesh proper. Now let's break this model into small pieces using self fracture add-on. So this add-on comes with the blender itself but we need to enable it. So further go to this edit, preferences, add-ons and such as cell CELL. By default this will be disabled, enable it and save those preferences and close. So after that being selected this model go to this object, quick effects and select this cell fracture. So here we got this right. So here source limit is set to 100 that means here the model will be into 100 pieces so here I will increase this break count so I will change this to 300 and noise use some variation in the pieces and recursion also I will add 1 and material by default this will be 0 change it to 1 so here if the material is set to 0 we will have the same texture which is outside inside also. So if I change this to material one, we can select two textures. That means we can have different texture outwards and we can have another texture inward. So here in season selection, I will give a name as pieces. So here we will get a folder created with the name pieces and all the pieces will be collected in that folder. Okay. So once this is done, just click on this OK button and this cell fracture add-on carries its work. So here you can see our statue is broken into 300 pieces and here we will have our original model also. So if I select this and if I place this here, you can see we got a model without these fractures and we got another thing with fractures. So we will be using this to hide out the fractures on the statue. So let's place back there. So now let's hide out this one and let's work on pieces only. So now let's add rigid body physics onto the pieces. So select any of the piece here, come to this physics property, add rigid body and type let it be active and shape let it be convex hull. So now let's play this. You can see the piece will be falling down. Now we need to add this property to rest of the pieces. So select the piece where we have added that property first and later box select everything. Go to this object, rigid body, copy to active. Now each and every object will have that property. So if I select this piece, you can see we got that rigid body. Now if I play this, all the pieces will be falling down. Here I don't want this to be happen. We want any external object to hit the statue and later this pieces should fall down. So now for time being, let's deactivate this rigid body property. So select any of the piece here, scroll down, come to this dynamics, expand it, come to this deactivation, right? Enable this deactivation, expand it and enable this start deactivation. Okay. After that, we need to copy this same property to rest of the pieces. So again, select the piece where we have enabled this option, box select everything, go to this object, rigid body copy from active so now if i play this it will be staying in its position only now let's add uv sphere which we'll be using to hit this statue so go to this add mesh select a uv sphere let's place this here reduce the scaling press s and reduce the scaling so i think let's place this to this head portion apply the scale now move forward in timeline like 60 frames and add a keyframe. So press I and add a location keyframe here. Now move 10 frames forward in timeline and let's bring this UV sphere close to the statue and add a keyframe for location. Press I and add a keyframe for location. Now we will have this animation, right? So we need to have this constant speed. So here this will be slow starting and slow ending. So select all the keyframes, press T on the keyboard and make it linear. Now the speed will be same. So now beyond this last frame, select this UV sphere, enable this rigid body property for this UV sphere, type let it be active and enable this animated option, 
since we are using keyframes right we need to enable this animated option and add a keyframe now move one frame forward that is on 71st frame disable this animated option and add a keyframe that means from 60 to 70 frames keyframe animation will work after that rigid body properties will take over now let's play this so if i play this so here you can see as soon as this uv sphere is hitting down these pieces are falling down now let's add a ground plane so go to this add mesh select a plane here increase the scaling press one and let's place this just below to the statue so i think yeah this is fine and let's add rigid body property for this plane also so select the plane add rigid body property but type change it to passive if i play this now we will have this uv sphere hitting our statue and the pieces will be falling on the plane so here we don't want all the pieces to fall down here this uv sphere is hitting this head portion right so i want this pieces from this head portion only so we can achieve that by using rigid body constraints so let's hide out this plane so select the plane press h to hide it out so now select any of the piece from this base so i will select this base press one for front view and select rest of the pieces here like this okay so once these pieces are selected go to this object rigid body and here we got this connect option just select this connect option and we will get these constraints attached to one another so here you can see we got these constraints right so this will hold the pieces together so let's play this once again and let's see whether we will have any difference or not so here you can see we got the pieces only from this head portion right so here I want this UV sphere to pass through the statue. So I will increase the mass. So select this UV sphere and come to this mass option and I will increase this to 50. So now let's play this simulation once again. So here you can see all these pieces are tightly glued to one another and rest of the pieces are falling down. So if you want to change the threshold of these constraints. So for example, here if I select any of the piece and if I check the mass, it is of 1 kg and if I select another piece it is off also same mass so now let's fix that so select all the pieces here go to this object rigid body just click on this calculate mass option and here we'll get some presets so from here i will select this peanuts so now if i select any of the piece it is of 26 kg if i select another piece it is of 48 kg so now we will have some variation how these pieces fall down so if i select this UV sphere here the UV sphere is of 50 kg and now let's see how this will react so here this UV sphere is not passing through the statue since this pieces weight is more when compared to the mass of this UV sphere so let's increase the mass of this UV sphere so select the UV sphere and let's change this to 150 kg and also if you want to increase the threshold value that means this holding strength of this constraints we can change that so let's check this once again and i will show you what that means so here you can see these pieces are falling apart right so if you want to avoid this one we need to increase the threshold value of this object constraints sorry rigid body constraints so for that select any of the constraint here here we got these options right rigid body constraint make sure this is breakable and threshold let's increase this to 100 and now we need to select these both properties to rest of the constraints so select all the constraints here be on this breakable text right click and copy to selected again come to this threshold right click and copy to selected now each and every constraint will have that same property okay now let's see what will happen now whether this will be holding all the pieces or it will be loosely packed so still it is having some gaps here so still we need to increase the threshold value so let's change this once again so i will change this to 5000 let's select rest of the things right click and copy to selected and let's play this once again so here you can see we are getting those gaps much lesser when compared to the previous threshold value so if you want to still increase the threshold value you can do that so here i will be leaving this to 5000 only However, I will increase the mass of this UV sphere. So here I want this UV sphere to pass through the statue. So for that, I will select this UV sphere. Again, I will increase this to mass to 500 kg. So here this is looking good. So once you are happy with the simulation, it's time to bake this simulation. So come to the scene properties, come to this rigid body world, 
cache options and here we have the start and end frame right so currently the simulation starts at first frame and ends at 250th frame so if you want to have the simulation bit longer increase this frame length so here i will reduce the frame count to 200 that is enough here and just click on this bake button so here the bake is done and we got our simulation ready so now let's convert this bake into keyframes in order to get some slow motion effect in our scene so in order to convert this bake into keyframes we need to select everything so beyond the first frame press a to select all the objects go to this object rigid body and bake to keyframes so here it will ask for start frame and end frame so i will end this at 200 frames only because the simulation i have set is for 200 frames so same value i will use here and hit ok so here you can see we got the keyframes that means this bake is converted into keyframes now so if you want to delete this rigid body property on the objects you can do that i will leave like that only now let me show you how we can get this slow motion effect so let's move forward in the timeline and let's see where this usb hits so at this point i want this to be in slow motion so here i will select these keyframes here okay press a g and move this keyframes here a bit so now if i play this we got the slow motion and at this position also i want to have the slow motion so again select the keyframes press a g and move it here a bit nice so you can see we got that slow motion effect also so in this way you can add slow motions into the scenes now here i will show that material option right where we have selected zero and one so if i first let me save this one and move on to this material viewport so here you can see we got the texture on this surface right so if i move forward the same texture will be repeated inside also so for inside portion if you want to have another material we need to set that number value to one so select any of the piece and come to this material properties here we got only one material right now let's add another material so this will be the material one so here you can say it is changed so if i add new material and if i change the color it will be changing inside also so for this reason we need to give that material option there white only and now i need to apply this material to the rest of the pieces also so for that i will right click select all the objects make sure this is active one okay after that come to this properties material properties click on this drop down copy material to select it now each and every piece will be having that material so for this usb here i will add another material so i will change this to so now we got our scene ready but here we'll be having some issue so here you can see before breaking this statue only we are finding these cracks so this moment we will be using this base model so enable this base model here hide out the pieces so the base model doesn't have any cracks right so select the model come to this modifiers add modifier and add solidify modifier so add thickness outwards here so i will change this to minus 0.01 a small thickness will be added you can see the difference if i hide it out you can see the difference so we got some thickness right now enable these pieces so now you can see we are not getting those cracks here so if i play this forward you can see this base model is visible here so we need to hide out this base model in render just before this uv sphere hits the statue so let's find a frame where this uv sphere is hitting so at 70th frame this is hitting right so till 70th frame we need to have this visible in render after 70 frames we don't want this to be visible in render beyond 70th frame add a keyframe for this render visibility simply place the cursor here and press i on the keyboard to add a keyframe so you can see we got a keyframe here right so move one frame forward so at this frame we don't want our base model to be visible in render so we need to hide it and add a keyframe so in render till 70 frames we will get the base model after that we won't get that base model visible so in this way we can hide out these cracks so let me change the material on this uv sphere so select the uv sphere come to this materials and such as glass so we'll add a glass material onto this so let's bring back the plane so alt h to bring back the hideout materials so let's add material onto this base plane also so let's add this one so come to this render options enable ambient occlusion distance i will change this to 5 enable screen space reflections refractions okay nice 
so in this way we can create this kind of scenes in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye